Hello everybody. In this video, I'll clear out doubts regarding ruler. A lot of people do see this ruler which is easily activated through view tab and ruler checkbox. Now, how to use this icon or maybe these three icons and the icons on the right? I'll explain the logic and the mechanism one by one. Firstly, we all know that we use this two pointed arrows to increase or decrease the top margin. Well, if you want to be more accurate, you might as well press Alt key, keep it pressed and then increase or decrease the margin. Notice the numeric measures tell you how big or small the margin is. And you can use the same thing when you see the two arrow pointed on the right hand side margin. I keep Alt pressed. Notice much more accurate. Second, what exactly is this icon? Well, if I hover my cursor on the top icon, which is the downward pointing pentagon, it says first line indent. So let me show an example. I keep my cursor at the beginning of this sample text one paragraph. Then I go to the first line indent and just change the position towards the right hand side. Notice it only controls the first line indent of the paragraph text that I've chosen for. Let me bring it back. If I want to move only the second line onwards, a little towards inside, I will choose the upward pointing pentagon and move it a couple of positions right. Notice the change. Let me press Ctrl Z. If I want to move the entire thing, entire text paragraph a little on the right, I might use this rectangular base, which is called left indent and move them. This controls both the pentagons. This is almost the same as going to home and increasing the indent. The only difference being it moves half an inches right with every click. Half an inches left with every click on the left indent. Now you have to be careful before using that. You must choose the relevant paragraph and then modify the rulers. For example, I choose these three bullet points. Then I move the upward pointing pentagon a little on the right. Notice there's an adequate space between the bullets and the text. Let me now choose the first line indent and see how the bullet points react. Now, these are standard rulers that we use from the bullet and indent, but I've seen occasions where you get a document from an external source and you have to spend a lot of time in making sure the indent, the margins and, and the rulers are showing you exactly what you want to represent in your data points. So instead of doing left indent, let me just bring it back to the original position. Notice how they move. Now, this small two pointed arrow is a left margin for all the text. So it controls everything and the relative positions of the text that you have already saved with certain different indentation is also moved along with left margin. Next, what is this icon called and what is this used for? It is used for tab. What does it mean? Let's say if I write some information like Superman, I press tab key, it moves a certain space on the right. And then I write the place where it comes from Krypton tab. And then I say he uses the red and blue as the color of his costume. Fine. Now, can I modify the tab spacing? Yes. I choose my place at the Krypton. Now, since the tab says left tab and I just place my cursor out here, notice script on shifted. I pick up red and blue and I put my cursor and click on this section. Now, as I press enter, I say Batman tab key. Notice this time the tab jumps a few spaces more than what you had seen a couple of seconds back Gotham city. And he uses mostly black. I think I had added some manual spaces before red and blue. So I'll delete that. Can I change the tab spacing from the entered text? Yes, you can choose it. 
you can move this left tab move this tab a little on the right now if you feel that you wanted three sections wherein the right hand side section will consist of number the middle should be center line and the left should be left aligned so let me show you how let me double click three times here so that i can place my cursor afresh now i click on this button multiple times to get to the left tab okay then again i change this to center yes you'll have to click multiple times and then click on this section let's say this is center we'll see the difference then again i change this to right and i put my cursor at this section now let me write some text a b c t e x t 1 2 3 notice it is aligning from the center of the tab pressing tab key and writing some numbers the numbers appear to shift a little on the left why because it's the right tab that i have used so in general these were the settings of margins and rulers hope this helps you in editing documents which are very clumsy and messy although in one of the other video i've already discussed the shortcut key if i press control space bar it loses all the format or you can also try control shift n if you want to know more about these two shortcut keys please go to our video which speaks about clear formatting this video in essential was on margins and rulers